Are you still able to be humble? Previously on Chopping Wood. Pump up the we turned it 11 times. Because we're soft with it every time we catch it. They're not switching. Hit somebody on the screen. Rip and drive the close out. And that's not an adjustment. It's what I freaking said to start the game. You guys better wake the hell up. Chopping up 3, 1, 2, 3, Chopping Wood. To lose this game, it would be a little bit embarrassing not coming out ready to play because it's all controllable by us. The second half starts, and we definitely start to turn it up a notch. But then they started to hit some shots, and they were keeping it close. And number one was definitely being a pest defensively and offensively, just with how quick he was. We started to turn the ball over a little too much. I wasn't hitting my shots. Then the crowd started to train overrated. I'm just trying to get in our team's head. Their opinions don't matter to me, and I'm just going to keep playing my game. It's either now or never for us to start this comeback and try to come out with a W. And that's when my boy Hayes came in clutch, started hitting some three balls for us. There's two minutes left in the game, and we pull within two. Then I put us up with a three-point. Hayes locked the dude down. One minute left, and this is the game right here. They're inbounding the ball. We get a steal. And number one comes from behind and takes it back. 30 seconds left, and we get a steal on a loose ball, and they foul us again. Hayes goes one of two at the line. As they're coming up the court, we foul them, and they have a couple seconds left on the clock. They inbound the ball, check a half quarter. They're way off, and we grab the win. If we would have lost, it definitely would have hurt us. All of our mistakes were definitely controllable. It's a win, but like, that was an ugly game. All right, fellas, here's the deal. I'm not sure we've been worse than that. Once we beat Springfield in our previous game, we had to make sure we were humble and didn't let it get to our heads. You guys have to make a conscious decision to, to like choose not to be that way. The good news is, it's a choice. We have the stuff to be really good. When can that be us? For us to get to states, we need to be more prepared and locked in 100% of the time, not looking down at the teams we play, even if we think it's an easy game. And I think our team is willing to do that. One, One down, two, down, three. One, two, three, three. Yeah. 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 Coming in. We're going to chop down some trees right now. The chop wood mentality is just to keep going at it and just keep working harder. None of us really knew what we were doing. I just went into it kind of swinging it like a baseball bat. I was swinging it like a bat. Because you're not going to take out a tree in the first swing. Just trying to wear it down little by little. This shit is big. Yeah, but give me a guess on how many swings you're going to have to take to chop down a tree. Somewhere above 100. OK. Yeah, it's probably going to be about three times that. So that's 300, Keba. It's Keba's first time chopping down the tree. He's pretty big, so he probably thinks he can do it pretty easily. So you're going to have to keep hitting the tree. You're not going to feel like you're making any progress. And you just got to keep swinging. On the bottom. We just finished chopping down our trees, preparing us for our competition this week. We all know how big of a tournament Flying to the Hoop is. Number one draft picks play almost every year, like Andrew Wiggins and Anthony Davis. So we know we just got to go out and compete.
Sunday, we play at Flying to the Hoop. Teams from all around the country just coming to play and compete. Top prospects come in, a lot of top teams come in. <laughs> Prolific prep goals, Huntington prep goals. Spire Academy goals. Last year, that was a big game. But they got blown out. Environment out there, like flying to the hoops, is like always one of the biggest weekends that people look for during our basketball season. It's gonna test what we're made of a little bit and how much we can like actually hang with people. It's all us right now, like with this group. So we're working on handling pressure, uh, taking care of the basketball executing offensively. Making sure we're skilled, saving possessions, not turning it over. Focused on catching and shooting and then offensive putbacks. So you could tell the guys were getting into it today, they enjoyed it. We play Compass Prep, the national team out of Arizona, flying to the hoop. Arizona Compass Prep is a really good team. They have a lot of high recruits, and I think it'll be a good test for us. They have top prospects like Frankie Collins. They're probably a little bit bigger and more athletic than us. They're like tough, they pressure a lot. And they're all like football players. They're very a good test for us to show what we're about. Last year, we started off four and five, but then after we did this fine to the hoops thing, that's when we started to realize like what we can do, what our potential is. If we play our game, you know, nobody can really stop us. It's game time and we pull up to Turn Arena to play Arizona Compass. All right, guys, here's the deal with this game. The guys are coming fast, and they're big, they're coming downhill. You're gonna have to have some guts to stand in and take it. I already knew it was gonna be a battle, so I just need my team to go out there and work and not to be scared because of our competition. Get an open shot, take it. Get a chance to take a charge, take it. Five for loose ball, five for loose ball. If we're able to beat this team, I think it shows that we can really compete with anybody and possibly win a state championship. I've coached in 13 of these games of flying to the hoop. You either come into this game excited that you're here and like, oh, it's this like really cool experience. You go out and you just get your face beat in. And we've had teams that have come in, locked in, and surprised themselves and everybody else because they were committed to doing our stuff the way we do it. It's your choice. Right now, I get the giddy feeling. It's a cool opportunity, but it's not a cool opportunity when you're going back home getting a 40 piece. At the start of the game, we can tell they're pretty physical and athletic. Even though they were bigger and stronger than us, we came out in the first, jumped out to an early lead. Gabe hits a three. That was big for us. We were hitting our shots, playing good defense. Keba had a nice move early where he took it and spun baseline and put it off the backboard. Tom hits a nice three to get us back into it. I hit a nice three, contested three. I just had to put that in there. The first quarter ends, we're up by two. We're feeling really good and have a lot of energy. We came out swinging in the first quarter, but in the second quarter, they came out swinging hard, knocked us back a few steps. In the second quarter, they just started like, just dunking, dunking on us like crazy, like. Then they started to show their physicality and like size on us around the room. I ran out from Frankie Collins. I he ran out jumped from so high. <laughs> Pressure got to us, but the score was pretty close. They started to build a little bit of a lead. We had two straight turnovers. Frankie Collins came down and dunked it both times. We gotta stay smart and stay composed. And these are the games that I live for. Next episode on Chopping Wood. They swung first. We see Mo limping in the locker room. Pretty big loss, he's our rim protector. They're top prospects. We're showing that we can hang with them. Every year we play paintball. We got some capture flag paintball. We're gonna be shooting people in their face.
Right here and subscribe. It's about that time. You better subscribe. You better click that button, though.